All right, so this video is the first of many, I hope, but I decided that I would document my uh, whole weight loss journey and because uh, I'm getting the gastric sleeve in a week now. So I've gone through my whole checklist of things that I had to do in order to get the surgery. And now I'm just about there. I'm down, let me see, how much weight have I lost? I think I'm down about 60 pounds right now. So I lost 70. I was getting ready to have the surgery. The surgery got postponed. And then I put back on that 70 pounds because I didn't think the surgery was actually going to happen. So from that point, I mean, it was like three months of just eating straight junk food like I used to that put that weight back on because I was doing Atkins and keto. And that's how I lost all the weight initially. And then from that point, they told me I needed most of my uh, authorizations again. And I had to go through all that and get all those done. And now I've got all those done again. And then I was getting ready to have surgery two months ago. And they were like, oh, well, you've been smoking cigarettes again. So now you have to friggin' wait another two months. But I've got all that shit done now. So everything's caught up tomorrow I have my pre-op visit and my MRSA test and they'll take my weight again because every week I have to go get weighed in at the doctor so they can be sure that I'm actually doing what I'm supposed to do but I figured I'd just document it and put it on YouTube for people to see like look this is what it's like whenever you're fucking 605 pounds and you decide you're going to change everything and you're going to get the surgery done so, I mean, I'll give you all the nasty details and all the shit that sucks about being overweight, all of that. I'll document all of it and I'll post it on YouTube because this is the best way to hold myself accountable is to post a video like that because I feel like there's no escaping if it's public knowledge. Like, look, this is what's going on. This is his whole journey with this. So... Right now, I weigh about 550, a little under 550. I started at 605, and we started this whole weight loss thing in January of 2020. Yeah, I think that's when it started. It's been over a year and a half now, which is crazy. For the first, uh, I don't know, what, a couple months, I was like, whatever, I'm getting my fucking stomach cut out. I don't actually have to diet like I don't have to take this seriously I can just you know wait until they cut my stomach out and get all this done but the list of requirements of shit you have to do for surgery is fucking unreal like there's seriously like a checklist of like 14 different things and all these different priorities go get breathing tests go get sleep studies go get this go get that you have to do a shit ton of things. And I mean, it is insane, the list of things that you have to get done. But, I mean, I really don't mind showing everything. I don't mind being completely honest with people. There's no shame in my game. Like, I don't give a fuck, personally. I did this to myself. And, like, I'm ready to change it. So, this is me getting ready to change it. And, I mean take y'all along if you want to join and watch it or whatever whoever wants to watch it I'll document it every couple days or so you know maybe I'll do myself going working out for the first time and however however long I don't know how long it's been since I've ever worked out but it takes a lot of work to get up to 605 pounds I'm not fucking lying it took a lot of food a lot of a lot of carbs a lot of soda really to get up there, but, um, no, I mean, I'm overweight, big boy, here, let me see, there, fat boy, real fat boy, real pale boy, actually, now that I look at this camera, this is so weird to be recording myself after spending years and years and years of avoiding a camera at all fucking costs, because you just don't want to see yourself for that weight, so... This will be me documenting it. I think the next time you'll see me, 
I'll either do one more video right after my COVID test on Monday. Uh, maybe in my car whenever I go get it. Because it's just a pull-up driving test. It's a COVID test. That, and then I think... I'll do one from I'll do one from the hospital bed f for this, you know. I'll document it all, and then I'll check in a couple days after surgery and so on and so forth, and we'll just keep it rolling. And then I'll start showing myself on the scale because I do have a scale that reads that high, and yeah, just ready to change some things, you know, ready to turn it all around and you know, fuck it, it's a fat boy summer, so. Let's do this. All right. Bye.